Hey everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shime. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be reacting to the new Marvel Studios um like a trailer for Disney Plus. Um and it's the big game spot, obviously, from Super Bowl. And I'm so excited because there are so many shows I want to watch on Disney Plus. But at the moment I'm kind of like 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 mm, I'm ex like because I watched I had the trial and I watched Mandalorian because oh, it's so good. So I'm hoping that like in the next few weeks before like these shows kind of get I'm not sure if the dates have been confirmed for like the Winter Soldier show and stuff like that. So um I really can't wait to see like when it comes out. But also I want to make a decision as to if I'm going to actually like be watching these shows because I want to and I want to react to them. Enough of that because I want to watch this trailer and apparently it's like all the Marvel shows that are coming out on Disney Plus. So that's exciting because hopefully there's stuff about Loki's show as well. But I only think that they just started filming that. I'm not sure if they've finished or done anything. So Oh, but if there is, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry because I love Loki as well. But anyway, let's just jump straight into watching this because ah. before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more movie trailers, TV shows, and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. It's time. Ooh. <laughs> Wonder. Welcome home. What? Vision residents. That's gonna be it. Oh, look at yeah. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. Yes! Oh my God! Why would you? Oh God! <laughs> oh my heart! My Marvel heart is waking up. It's oh, it's been asleep for too long. Oh shit! No. <laughs> I'm so excited! Oh lord help me, my Marvel heart has literally been on silent for this whole time since Endgame finished and obviously Spider-Man came out, oh such a good movie, but since then it's just been dead and everyone's just like what's going on, like is anything coming out, but <laughs> the shows, oh it's gonna be so good and oh Bucky with the short hair, <laughs> mm-hmm Mm-hmm. I love it. But I kind of wanted it to kind of be styled the same way that he had it short in the original Captain America movie, like the first one. But at the same time, he's trying to be a bit modern, so it's understandable. But oh! And oh, the Wanda thing. I don't really understand what's going on in that. I'm not sure if she's, like, making these scenarios up in her head to make her kind of, like, believe that, obviously, Vision is still alive, maybe? I'm not really sure. I need to check that out. I want to make- I want to, like, research that a little bit more and find out, like, what's kind of going on in that show. Oh, but there was- there was content for Loki! Oh god, oh. Like, oh. <laughs> because we know that they started filming because, like, Tom Hiddleston, like, released, like, a video of him, like, flying through the air and, like, landing with black hair. So I was like, Hell yeah, boy. Like, I'm here for this. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. Oh, my heart. And just, oh, also, Sam Wilson is Captain America. Like, that's going to be so, so, so cool. And, and just, I also want to find out, like, oh, because I know that, like, Sam Wilson and Bucky don't really get along in terms of friendship. But, you know, like, camaraderie. They're kind of like brothers in arms, like, towards the end of the, like, last few movies. Um... Because Sam, like, obviously understands that Bucky's going through, like, PTSD and stuff like that. And he's trying to, like, um, make himself a new life. And in a way, that's kind of, like, what Sam has done to help with other soldiers. So he's kind of like, oh, this is kind of, like, my area of expertise. I can help this guy, you know. So I'm, I really want to see, like, how their relationship as friends, like, develops. Like, whether that kind of becomes, like, the new Steve and Bucky. But I don't think it will. But I think there will be, like, that brotherly love between them. And that understanding of camaraderie and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to see more. And just Sebastian Stan is the Winter Soldier. Uh, oh, well, actually, not the Winter Soldier anymore. Bucky. I keep saying Winter Soldier just because... His movie was amazing, but I'm gonna shut up because I'm gonna. Oh, oh god, the, this Marvel fan girl is going crazy right now. My heart. Oh, I need to calm down. Phew. Oh, but again, the Loki stuff. Oh, that's gonna be interesting where they take that because obviously Endgame happened, and then you know, I'll try. And, mm, well, if you haven't watched Endgame, don't listen to this part. Go on mute and let me talk, and then just like unmute in the next like 20 seconds. Um, but yeah, when Loki disappeared, I was like. F 
because like literally in this one I was like because that meant like oh there's a parallel universe and he's going to be alive so what's gonna happen there um oh, but one thing I do like is that you know because with um Ragnarok the one thing I liked about it was that Taika put an end to like the um kind of like that rivalry between Thor and Loki because you know it was constant and it kind of got tiring after the second movie like Thor chasing after Loki making sure he's being like a good boy for Odin and then you know not really like developing himself as a character of his own like he's he's like main purpose throughout three films was like chasing after Loki stopping him from being evil and stuff but then it was like when they put a stop to that in Ragnarok even though it's hot, like, the way that, like, they, they scripted that scene in the elevator, you guys know what I'm talking about, oh, that gave me chills, I was like, that's perfect, like, I love that, like, it was short and sweet, and just the way they wrote it was so well done, and I kind of got teary, I was like, oh my god, like, Thor's actually, like, in a way, like, letting Loki just be himself, like, without, like, well, obviously, like, if Loki got involved and tried to hurt people he loved, Thor would obviously put his foot down, but in a way, he was letting Th Loki go. And even Loki was shocked. He was, I think Loki kind of liked that kind of, like, rivalry between them and liked the fact that, like, he could, like, get under Thor's skin. But in that instance, he was kind of like, oh, my God, I can't do it anymore. So that was something I loved, and that was amazing. I really, really liked that part. But anyway, again, what I was trying to say was that, I wonder what they're going to do with Loki. Like, if is he going to try and, like, find himself in a way? Like, find himself a purpose? It doesn't really sound like Loki because Loki's just the god of mischief. But at the same time, I'm wondering, like, what they're going to bring into his show that's going to be really interesting. Um, I can't wait till we get more information on that because I want to find out more, like, who's going to be in that TV show, the cast, other than Tom Hiddleston, obviously. Um, so that's going to be a very interesting ride. And again, I don't know much about the Wonder and Vision show, so I'm going to go and do more research on that because I'm really confused about it. Um, I'm just thinking, like, is it her kind of, like, in her head again with the illusion, trying to put it on herself, and she's, like, imagining that she's, like, living happily ever after with him? So that's going to be really interesting, and I'm, I want to find out more about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the really short trailer for three shows that we got. I am so excited for Disney+. Plus. I actually am going to go buy it. Like, literally, I'll go buy it in, like, the next 20 minutes. <sighs> I'm so excited. This just looks, oh, it looks beautiful and just, I cannot wait to see the shows unravel because obviously we saw The Mandalorian and The Mandalorian was so well done. And I was like, after watching that, I was like, if they can do this for all the Marvel shows as well, this is going to change everything. Like, it's going to be amazing. So I cannot wait to see what they do with this as well. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this reaction and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!